if we were to be able to travel back in time to ancient Egypt, I believe that we would find a, a tradition of what we would now call meditation taking place in the house of life. We know that there were darkened rooms where a form of sleep, which was called incubation, would take place, which was both associated with healing and divine inspiration. Scribes in those days were seen as people who could hunt words and it appears to me that the writing some of them were doing would be close to what we'd see now as inspired or channeled works. As time went on, this meditative tradition was passed down and we get the first real explicit descriptions of it in the pre-Socratic texts. These meditations are beautiful and expansive. So unlike the Eastern approach which tends to be focused on silencing the mind or a focus on some very small specific subject, these tend to be about expanding awareness. If we follow the timeline where these techniques start to get mentioned, we find that the practice was still taking place in temples. So here in Greece, just over there, in Athens, at the Acropolis, we can find a temple that actually has got one of these chambers. And the philosophers that write about these high things all make clear that they've learned from Egypt. If we carry on, we can find the same kind of meditation techniques being taught and described in texts in Rome. And indeed, the Hermetic texts are where this technique comes into pure focus. The whole philosophy is based on the idea that we're not thinking with our brain, our brain's more of a receiver, uh, we're thinking with a form of force that underlies everything, the mind force. And that through meditation we can connect with this. And we form a kind of reus, a, a, a circle whereby if we expand our awareness Everything here, everything we can see, is formed from a condensed form of this mind and the impressions from it go back into our mind. So through this we achieve a state of oneness. We can compare the techniques described in the Corpus Hermeticum with those of the Book of Enoch and with all the aforementioned sources, and we find there is a consistent discipline. A discipline which only reappears recently in the works of Franz Baden. When I first talked to people who knew Franz Baden, I was surprised to hear that he had a, a room in his house which was uh, all the walls were painted black. At the time, I couldn't understand what this would be for. But now, having studied the exact path of this genuine tradition of Western meditation, I fully understand. <laughs>